Alright, uh, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to some more Skyrim here with our star of the show, Ragad the Vinmaker. Yes! We'll handle things from here. Move along. <laughs> don't you, don't you shoo me. Don't you shoo me aside, sir. No. <laughs> don't underestimate the man that most should know as the Bear of Markarth. Clearly. Clearly, no. But I believe the name, the title is already we'll taken. Good, sir. Well, get, get busy then. Clean up them dead corpses. Perform your investigation. Clearly. We all saw how it went down. The man murdered that poor woman in cold blood. Then the Vinmaker stepped in to avenge her. Anyway, what are we going to do with this episode? Well, I've got a few things on the to-do list. Um... I got a little... I, 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 we'll I, oh, thank here. you, sir. Thank you. God, I will move along then. Just to shush you. <laughs> We've got an inn right here. I am looking... Just out of the, out of the gate, I am kind of looking for uh, another vendor that I can pawn off a few. Or sell off a few items. Do a little wheeling and dealing with. I did notice the forge down here, so I think I'm going to head this way. I also need to... Uh, there's there's three things. One, The main thing that has brought us here is, of course, uh, the storm cloak. Mission. Yes. A little cloak and dagger work here. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we are trying to... It, now, the list, it list was listed as saying, find evidence. Um, and it has to do with uh, the Jarl's steward, Rarick, I believe is his name. And uh, we need to find evidence. I'm not sure what we need to find evidence of. I think we need to find evidence that he is a worshipper of Talos. And if I can do that, then I would imagine we may be able to sway him to our, to our cause. And perhaps uh, liberate Mark Earth or bring it under uh, Stormcloak control. That way, yes. Uh, I also, well, last episode we did see how that went down with that murder. And shortly afterwards, a man named Ethris, Elthris, Eltris. I can't. I, I'm not sure what his name was. He dropped me a note. Very. Uh, he was. I don't know. Just a little odd. A little off. But uh, he's directing me, or he wants to meet me at uh, the shrine of Talos. So. I need to track him down, and of course, I, I'm looking for a man named Kelshelmo as well. Not sure how to pronounce that name. Is it Kelshelmo? Is it Kel Kelmo? Is it Kel? Is it Chel Chelmo? Yes, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I think in my previous adventure, I think that's what had brought me to Mark Earth. But I, again, if you watched last episode, I did say I spent very little time here. I I can't remember if I ever met up with him or not. But anyway, uh, I think that's the man that I came to see then, and I'm here to see him again now. Anyway, let's see if I can. Uh, a little buy and sell in here. This may not even be a shop. God damn it. You're not one of my workers. What are you doing here? I'm uh, looking, uh, looking to, well, one of your workers. You hard of hearing. <laughs> I run this smelter, and I'm late meeting our silver quota. What do you want? Hmm. Do you, does this smelter have your name written on it, sir? What? No. <laughs> Don't our silver blood owns it. He owns everything in Markarth. But he hands all the paperwork over to Nepos, the nose, to finish. That old man's back is heavy with burden. Nepos, the nose, eh? And somebody's silver blood. Hmm. Do you know anything about the Four Sword running around these parts? Every other day, seems one of the laborers runs off to the hill saying he'll join the Four Sword. You don't like the Nords? Fine. But pledging your whole life to killing them, that's just dumb. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah. Oh, oh. Easy there, a friend maker. I oversee Markarth smelter. Worker gets out of line. I get him back in line. Smelting, good Look, business. Yes. Right. Good, good way to earn a living, sir. Yes. Are you complaining? <laughs> if you have strength to whine, you have strength to smelt. Oh. Oh, I thought he was closing in on him. Give him a good, a good wallop in him of some kind. I'm not sure. Anyway, I guess I'm still on the lookout for some sort of... Uh, some sort of shop. Alright, I've got points, uh, you know, I think I've got everything that I'm looking for on the actual... Uh, on the, on the map here. So let's see. I'm right here. We've got some sort of mine entrance. There we go, there's... Chiltelmo! <laughs> Chiltelmo, yes. Uh, bring a dwarven arrow to Chiltelmo. And find evidence. So those are both over there. All right. So that must be perhaps uh, I don't know. Maybe the Jarl's joint. Uh, anyway, the Shrine of Talos here. 
you know what? Maybe I'll head for that. It'll, it'll allow me to cut through town. And... Hmm. What is this stuff over here, do you think? I don't know. We've got stables. Now, wait a second. I must have something else marked as well. All right. All right, well, let's cut her through town and uh, see about finding another shop. Because uh, I'll tell you, I need to lighten, lighten my load even further. What do you think that is? Well, I'm sure plenty of you know. This is a great city. Oh, my God. A beautiful design. All right, this looks like uh, the one point that I need to get to. I still want to, you know, I, I got to stay focused on trying to find myself another vendor. Find the Shrine of Talos. You don't know anything about this house? No. Anyone seen entering or leaving? These strange lights? There's something going on down there. It's abandoned. It's always been abandoned. <laughs> Alright. What is this then? Vlindrul Hall. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you. I'm looking for a shop here. I'm seeing wonderful waterfalls. Have you heard? What? There's been another dragon attack. Times grow. I wouldn't worry about the dragons, sir. Worry about the Force Sworn. Clearly, they're a problem around these parts. Oh, this, uh, this, uh, I'll tell you, just the scenery, the backdrop is, has captivated me here. You a seller, sir? You look like a merchant. Ruber is Quintilius. Why are you bothering me, kinsman? Hmm. Just wondering where I could find myself a stiff drink. That's about the only harmless thing you can do in this city. Silverblood Inn is the place to go. Good. And Silverblood. once you've had your fill of mead, do us all a favor and go home. Markarth has enough trouble. Really? Hey, you're I friendly. Get back to work. Friendly bunch. Money doesn't count itself. <laughs> Listen to this guy. This noble. This rich noble. Sir, I may not look the part of a noble, but I promise you, my purse is twice the size of yours, yes. Alright, well, maybe we'll leave the Shrine of Talos and the Wheel and Beyond for the time being, since I couldn't seem to find either up there. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly, belly full of mead, yes. I've heard that before, sir. Right. Seems to be a common saying around these parts. <laughs> Let's head in for Understone Keep here. All right, God damn it! Somebody mounted light fixture on one of these walls. Those two, those two uh, bonfires are just not cutting. It. I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical <laughs> imperial lies. First you take away Talos. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead. You and the Jarl will answer mm. for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. What is this now? That's enough, Thongbor. We're done. Seems like a man I'd like to, uh, have words with here. Follow in close behind here, Vinmaker. Don't make a spectacle of yourself, sir. Thongvor- Oh, it's Silverblood himself. Good lord, he seems to be on the tongues of all this town's f this town's folk, yes. The Silverblood family will be hurt. It's a fine set of armor you have, sir. What seems to be your troubles? You there. You another Imperial puppet? Answer me. Of course not. I'm no friends of the Imperials, sir. Finally, someone <clears throat> with decent sense. The Empire is destroying everything Skyrim stands for. Honor, pride, mighty Talos. Jarl Igmund can't ignore us for much longer. Not that the Silverblood family has a say. Hmm. What was uh, what was that all about? 
earlier about uh, about Talos. Perhaps the shrine? I'm looking for the shrine. That's a true Nord hero. A legend. Agreed. So yes, great we're... that the divines themselves lifted his soul into the heavens and made him a god. He founded the Empire, and now they've turned their back on him to appease the elves. Elves. Do the elves rule Skyrim, or do the Nords? <laughs> <laughs> what is what is Rurgen going on about? He's playing it. He's playing it real sly here. What's this? Hmm, what's this about elves? They started the great war, nearly destroyed the imperial city. Then the emperor took the coward's way out and surrendered. Now the elves dictate everything we do, and they don't want us acknowledging a mere human like Dalos. As the god he is. Yeah, this is coming in a little bit too late. You know, this is knowledge that's uh, very commonplace around, well, this this Let's Play. And, uh, uh, Rorgard, he's, well, he's a supporter, a worshipper of Talos. So, clearly he knows. Anyway, so, I'm gonna put it this way. I'm gonna word it this way, because I don't like the way this one is worded. Uh, so why won't the Jarl listen to you, sir? We own Sidna Mine, best prison in Skyrim and source of half the wealth in this city. We keep the Reach safe. We flood Markarth with wealth. But does the Yarrow listen to us when we want to say? No. He's busy forgetting that Ulfric Stormcloak saved this city from the Forsworn. Ulfric's a hero, not a damn criminal. Well, I've read up on this, but we'll inquire further, get his take on things. So, Ulfric, yes. I wish I, I could say more, but I simply cannot. Who knows who's listening? But, uh, Ulfric, know the man quite well. Saved Markarth, did he? How exactly? He used the Thum, shouted those four sworn from the walls. Then he led a band of Nord warriors in to take the city. Just like Talos himself at the Battle of Old Hrolden, reclaiming the reach from those heathen. All right. Well, Thongva, pleasure, sir. We are definitely on the same side of things. I wish you the best of luck in your your current endeavors. Stay out of trouble in my city. <laughs> oh, I love how he calls it his city. You must be related to Solov. Must be. I thought we had a good rapport going there, Thongva. Until, of course, uh, that final little biting comment. Treating me like a common criminal. Little does he know. Perhaps I should have said more about my my relationship with Ulfric. Of course, I don't really like Ulfric much, do I? No. No, anyway, I need to get back on track here. Alright. Let me I better go right into the map here. I've got so many waypoints up, I don't know I don't know which way is up. Alright, there's evidence that way. We've got <laughs> this is a big joint here. Oh my. Um bring a dwarven air mode to Chel -chel -ball. Yes. Um, you know what, let's start off with the, the minor little thing here. To help me, uh, spend a little time maybe scoping the joint out, of course. Oh, look at that. Dwarven Centurion. Mm, they must be Imperial Hounds. <laughs> Sniffing at the Stormcloak in me, yes. Chel Chelmo! No. Work. I doubt it. I'm probably not even in the right area at this point. We have found. Is this the Master Chef himself? Don't mind the dogs. They get anxious when they haven't had dinner. Ron Back, Anton. I have to, I have to imagine he is probably. What's his face? I, I can't remember what they call him in the game. The Chef Extraordinary. Oh, oh, put that away. Oh, look at this. Thelmer agents and everything. I don't like the look. I don't like the vibe I'm getting around here. Alright, still looking for Chel Chelmo. Where is he? Let's see here. Where did I go wrong? I'm probably not even in the right bloody sector here. Alright, well let's go find ourselves a little evidence. Steer clear of these Thalmer, this Thalmer patrol. Are those Stormcloak guards? What the hell is happening here? Here to see the yard. 
Mark Earth City Guard. Moves. Maybe it just looks. Yes, of course. We're trespassing here. You better clear out. Very well. Very well. All right. That looks like Jarl Igmund. Was that who? Uh, what Thongvar called him? And uh, probably Rarik at his side. Oh, oh! The minion is here. Yes. And we're watching you. Power, power to the to the Arabs and the Thalmar. Power, long live the Empire, the Imperial Empire. Yes, yes. Play it, play it cool, there, Vinmaker. Play it cool, sir. Oh my, we've got. Look at these. Uh, oh damn. <laughs> Hopefully they're just statues and they don't come to life. Oh my. All right, can you slink away here, sir, with it being noticed? I hope so. I'll tell you, I'm I'm quite lost, though. I have to admit. Back into the map we go. All right, clearly I need to go down that way. Maybe let Thelmer make one more pass here. Snuff that torch, sir. We're, we're going. We're going dark. Yes, we've entered stealth mode. All right. Fantastic. Slip away quickly now. Not a moment to waste. All right. Oh. My bad, my bad. I was looking for the bathroom. Good lord. <laughs> alright, alright. And somebody... Clearly a light bulb needs to be changed around here or something. <laughs> alright, it's not going to be quite so quite so easy. Fortunate. Oh, look at this. Could I perhaps do a little buying and selling in here? I would love to hear you. The Empire has always been yes. good to the orcs. But this war of theirs is none of my concern. Moth, my good, my good orc. I'm the Jarl's personal blacksmith, but that doesn't mean I can't sell you a few pieces for a fair price. Sounds good. A little wheel and deal and it will be that, yes. Make it so. Mm -hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. All right, let's see here. Um, well, I want to lighten the load. I got to go straight over to the... Oh my god, he's hardly got any gold. All right, well, let's see what he's got for sale. Oh, oh, what did I just do? Finger slipped, clearly. <laughs> what did I buy? I, I, whatever I bought, I spent uh, about 600 gold on. 550. About that. It was like a dwarven... Yeah, it was a dwarven long mace. Look at this thing. <laughs> spent over 500 on it. And uh, selling it back to him for 71. Stupid. All right. What else can go here? Let's get things organized. Uh, now, the Crow Greatsword, I mean, look at that thing. I'd love to just be able to hold on to it, put it on display. But I think I'm going to sell it, you know. It's pretty badass, though. Uh, the Ebony Mace, I mean, some of this stuff can just clearly go. The Elven War Axe, goodbye. Alright, the Elven Shortbow of Blizzards, you know what? I think I'm going to hold on to this and maybe, maybe try and wield it, you know, just to have something else that... That is, uh, enchanted, you know, on my hip. Alright, the, eb the ebony shortbow can go. The ebony longbow, I'd kind of like to hold on to that as well. The Dramora halberd, I'm holding on to that for... For Raya. In fact, I can't even pawn any of... I can't, e can't even sell any of that stuff, uh, because... Well... Because the man has very little gold... Despite my, my botch there at the my botch to open. Alright, I'll get rid of, you know, let's see here. i got some, uh, some of these can go. Yes, I'll take the loss. And let's see, what else might he have here? Anything? Not really. Some fish soup, eh? <laughs> okay. Alright, well, I guess that'll do. I got rid of a few items there. All right, good. All right. When we slipped away unnoticed, just here, a traveling merchant, the bin maker is. All right, here we go. 
Two things. First, fortify sneak going in. Second, potion of invisibility. Make it work, Vinmaker. Make it work, sir. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. Is this where I need to go? I'll tell you, I bloody well hope so. All right, let's uh, let's have a look at the map just to make sure. No, I've missed it. Dang it. All right, now where am I going? How am I going to slip by this one fella then at this point? Invisibility is worn off. That's no good. My fortify sneak is uh Is he coming right up here? Oh no. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't spot me. Well played, Vinmaker. Well played, sir. Alright, I believe this is it. Oh, I need to unlock it? Dang it. Am I bringing in a bounty for this? I could have sworn I saw like... Like, 250 pop up at the bottom of the screen. Perhaps only if I get busted. I don't know. You know, for an adept lock, this one's being a real stickler! Good lord, Vinmaker. Start using both hands, please, sir. Please. We have no time to be dilly-dallying like this. No lollygagging at the lockpick. There we go. Okay, close it up. And... Looking for a little evidence. At this point. Gods and warship? No, no. Oh, here we go. The Talos Mistake. Perhaps not what I'm looking for. This is, uh, yeah, I think this is the... Yeah, I've read this, I've read this. Okay. We'll leave that alone. Hmm. Let's take a look in here. Nothing. Here we go. The Oblivion Crisis? No, the Beggar Prince? No. He must have something here. Somewhere. I hear him. I hear that bloody guard out there. The Legend of Red Eagle? No. What is this? Key to the Markerth Keep? Hmm. Rerix inscribed Amulet of Talos. Here we go. That's clearly what I need. Now I need to blackmail the man. And uh, I think I will take that key as well. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Rogard thinking ahead. I may just require it yet. All right. Now the question is where is the guard? I think he's going up the stairs right now. I was correct in my assumption. <clears throat> and you know what? Let me get uh, one more. I just want to slip out unnoticed. Get my invisibility in here. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, the th Oh! They thought they saw something. But clearly it was simply a little flickering candlelight. Playing tricks on their eyes in the shadows here, yes. All right, wonderful, wonderful. Now play it up, Rogard, like you've just come after concluding some business with the Mothman in here, yes. Oh, pleasure doing business with you, Moth, yes. Pleasure, sir. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's go find, uh, let's go find Rarick, I guess, at this point. And he's right up here, isn't he? Or at least that's what I assumed, you know. He was kind of sitting beside the Jarl. I have to imagine it's Steward. He's probably up there with him. Here we go. Oh, clearly. Look at the man. Busy little spot here. Just a local tourist. Traveling merchant, yes. 
A little adventuring on the side from time to time. I'm no Stormcloak, people. That's what I'm trying to say, yes. <laughs> anyway. This must be Rarick. Oh, that's Jarl. That's the Jarl himself. Damn it. Tracking the wrong man. Perhaps I should have attempted a little assassination there on Igmund. No running in court. I know. I know. I'm not trespassing, sir. Clearly. No. No, I'm not. I haven't stepped off the rug. Give it a rest. Overachievers. Both of them. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Do you think Rarik, he, uh, he went for his quarters? Maybe if I'd kept the compass up and actually been following the marker as it was moving, I'd know where he went. Igman's security is my chief concern. Yes, clearly you're doing a fantastic job, my dear. Fantastic. You again. Well, I gotta go again. Quit looking at me like that. Clearly I drank far too much mead last night, yes. Oh my. <laughs> He's giving me a, a, a good a good looking at. Prepare, Vinmaker. Prepare yourself for what is to come. Uh, unfortunately, I think I burned through... Actually, you know what? I must have more invisibilities. Unless I've sold them. That looks like I have. I went through the last of them. Okay, that's good. You know, that's fine. I'm not seeing them, but that's okay. I wish I had caught Rarick right here. It would have been perfect. It would have been ideal. What is this guard doing? He's really taking his sweet ass time with this patrol, isn't he? I don't want to go wandering in there and have steel drawn on me again, so I'm just playing a little a little cautiously, trying to play it a little nonchalantly, yes. I hear him, he's approaching. Making his rounds. Damn it, Vinmaker! Oh, this guy. This guy. Let's see here. What can I do? Um. <laughs> you know, well, you know what I could do? In fact, that's what I may do. I do have my mortar and pestle. And uh, we'll just do a quick little craft here. A little invisibility action. Where is it? I guess it would be potion. No, 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 no. Now wait a second here. F L. Where is where is the invisibility? Good lord! Is it not marking it? All right. Well, I'll just go into ingredients. Actually, you know what? I'm not really carrying my full supply, am I? I don't even know if I'll be able to pull this off, and I don't think I will be. I don't think it's possible. Dang it! You've really buggered this up, Vinmaker. Now I'm regretting actually uh, drink guzzling that second, second visible. Look at him. What are you looking at, sucker? <laughs> Get moving. All right, uh, it'll be a fortified sneak, and I'll have to try and get in behind him. As he goes up the stairs, I mean it's really my only option at this point. I don't have any invis or invisibilities left, so it's going to have to be the fortified sneak and hopefully sneak around on him. Either that or I wait for Rarick to come back out. Alright. Um, where the hell is it? <laughs> there we go. Wonderful. Rarick, my man. I mean you no harm. Don't be startled, sir. I'm Eggman's uncle, as well as his steward. Good. Do you recognize this little shiny trinket, perhaps? I suppose you're here to extort something from me. <laughs> is that it? Well, what is it you want? Simply your assistance, sir. If you believe in Talos, please join our cause. So, 
You're one of Ulfric's spies. Yes. I can't deny the man is right about a few things. But I've seen firsthand what Ulfric is capable of, given the chance. Suffice it to say, he is no friend to Markarth, and no friend of mine. My first and only loyalties are to my nephew, and to this city. Hmm. Well, sir, it's a sentiment I agree with. Ulfric, he's no friend of mine either. But I have joined the cause because it's the right thing to do. Perhaps you need a little, a little incentive to join us, hmm? Perhaps we could come to some sort of agreement. Huh. And what if I told you about a large shipment of silver and weapons? I'm listening. <laughs> oh no, I won't tell you anything more until we have an agreement. Hmm. And uh, what about something for the Dove again here? The hard-working, blue-collared savior of Skyrim. Yes, a little something for me, up front, right now. Well, I, I suppose I'm not left much choice in the matter, am I? No, no, you're not, Very clearly. Well. I trust a hefty purse of septums will suffice. Another day, another 1,500 septums. That'll do just fine, sir. It's a deal. Where can I find this shipment? They're taking it by wagon to Solitude. If you hurry, you'll catch them before they get far. It'll be a fairly slow-moving caravan. The shipment's quite heavy and guarded by many men. Now, let's pretend we never had this discussion. Agreed. Agreed. I have letters to read. Good. I have important business that needs doing, clearly, as savior of this province, yes. All right. Uh-oh. Here he comes. Oh! I advise Igman the same way I advised his father. Carson Looking for the bathroom, sir. Looking. Don't don't cut it off. Oh, he's threatening to. Threatening to take Rorgard's manhood and everything. Good lord. Oh! Thalmer. Some spy you are, Vinmaker. <laughs> Some spy you are, sir. Very well, and there we go. My work, uh, well, complete. In a very roundabout way. We did get it done in a very drawn out way. Not a roundabout way. In a very drawn out way, I eventually got. My shit together, yes. And, uh, well, you know what? I am here. I don't actually, I don't think. Chalmo is actually in this area. So I think I'm probably gonna have to head outside and then enter elsewhere. But I think for the time being, I'll try and uh, take down this shipment for, uh, for Rarick, you know? And of course, I have to report. I think I did see a pop up that said report back to Galmar Stonefist as well. So I'll, what I'll do is I'm gonna run through things between episodes here. Run through my updated mission list. Get a good sense of what is to come. And then... Plan things out from there. Oh my, you know what that is. A damn vampire's on loose somewhere. Quick. Quick save. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. That is not what I wanted, no. Quick saving it. Where are the damn vampires? Where are the foul creatures? The guards are on the lookout as well. They heard it. Hopefully it didn't happen within... Uh, what was that joint called? Something under cave, I think. Under stone. The under stone keep. Looks like uh, whatever arrived here on the scene, whichever foul vampire appeared, apparently it, it was Slayer, as the guards are celebrating... What's happened, sir? This vampire's becoming a real menace. Well, I'll tell you. You have You don't know that. Oh, I hear another one. Where is it? You don't know the half of it, sir. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'll kill you with my half. Oh, you will. Oh, no! <laughs> Who is that? The town drunk. Die. Die. You bounced around all over the place here. 
Alright, you know what I need? I definitely need a uh, resist magic. We'll get that in. I'll even guzzle health. Now, where is he? He's working the low ground on me. Which one is the, is the vampire? It's this guy. Oh no, really? I'm gonna die here. Got a vigilant out here by the looks of things. Finally, the uh, the guards arrive on the scene. I better make sure I don't put an arrow into the bag of one of them. We spend the night in jail, and there we go. Collectively, yes, a big hurrah rings out on the uh, the darkened streets of Markarth here, infested by vampires. As the uh, the guard, some rogue vigilant of Stendar, and the Vin Maker, the savior of all of Skyrim, the Dovahkin himself, come together, and well. Eliminate the creature. Look at that shot. Somebody hit the mark there. Good lord. Stealing my thunder, though, as they did come in in front of me, but a little bit of saving my life as well. Anyway, I'll take the Ring of Minor Sneaking. That would have come in handy about 15 minutes ago. And uh, we'll grab the lockpicks, the vampire dust, and we'll leave the rest. There were a couple of more up a level, I believe. Let's see here. Word is Ellen Wen's furious. <laughs> Good. I'm glad that is, uh, that's common knowledge. I'm glad she's a little upset. She should be. She stepped on the, the wrong toes, yes, in the Vin Maker. And, uh, where was the last one? Over here. Look at this guy. Getting in a little celebratory tea bag, and clearly. What were you trying to do to this, uh, this, this woman, sir? Good lord. Looking to desecrate her, weren't you? Yes. The filthiest way possible. Alright, um... <laughs> we'll leave everything else, and that should do. Alright, all. Well, I'm gonna wrap it. I came, uh, I got a little lucky there, I'd have to say. You know, I was pushing my luck. Dealing with that master vampire. Things were not going well for the Vin Maker. And I'm not, I don't really have a great supply of healths right now. I'm not sure how many I, I guzzled in the process. Anyway, at least that's done. The city's safe, at least for one more night. With the Vin Maker, with the Dovahkin, keeping a watchful eye on these city streets. Anyway, all, uh, I hope you had a good time while you were here. I hope to see you in the next one when it rolls on out. But of course, as always, until then, remember why it hurts. Later.